Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel Workshop Fun. I just thought I'd like to show you people what I've been doing lately. Um, everybody has a vice in their workshop and a lot of people would like that vice to be on a stand and on a decent stand. Well, I happen to be one of them. Um, for a long, long time, my vice had been sitting on the bench here and it was kind of awkward because you can't get at the anvil at the back of it properly it can just be a pain it, you can't sort of get around it when you're trying to chop metal and grind metal or whatever um, so you know like a lot of people I wanted a stand and the stand happened to come up on Facebook Messenger. Um, it's made out of 12mm plate steel apparently and to give you an idea um, I believe the stand would weigh in the region of about 80 kgs um, and then by the time you add the vice to it and the grinding wheel and the big heavy electric motor to drive the grinding wheel you're looking at hmm, probably my guess would be about 120 kgs because I weighed the electric motor and that electric motor weighs 28 kgs uh, and the vice my guess would be probably about 28 kgs as well and the grinding wheel that is a fairly heavy grinding wheel so yeah I would say the whole stand will be pushing around about 128 kgs I'm not sure what that is in pounds um, for anybody in the United States you'll have to look that up on Google um, yeah so the long and short of it is the stand used to be for a big polishing wheel apparently um, it came up on Facebook Marketplace here in New Zealand for $45. I mean, at that price, I just couldn't turn it down. Um, and it was in a city nearby, so I think it took me, well, it's about an hour's drive from here, so it didn't take me long at all to pick it up. And um, I just took the wagon over and grabbed it. Now, when I got it, um, of course, it definitely wasn't this colour. This is the first of the top coats. I've been primering it and painting it. Um, it was didn't look anything like this. It didn't have the grinding wheel on there. I was actually given this grinding wheel, and um, it happens to be very suited to the stand. So I've actually welded that grinding wheel onto the stand and then contoured it into the stand. So now you'd almost just think it was a part of it and think it always had been a part of it. Um, so that's worked out really well. Um, so basically I'll be able to use that to sharpen all my wood lathe tools and any other tools that I want. Um, now this is... Um, a hammered black it's still got to have another coat on the stand yet um, so I've been sanding it and primering it with a red primer um, I had to use two coats of primer and do two rounds of sanding on it, it took ages and now I'm on to the first top coat um, I will be repainting the vice too um, that's going to be the same black I want it to sort of blend in with the stand and make it all look uniform um, what it's actually holding right now is the motor holder which bolts on down here you can see here and here um, before I refasten the motor onto it um, I'm going to cut this down here in here and I'm going to get a bit of um, plate steel that's going to be welded onto this 
and that will make a decent motor holder. They had just bolted the motor on here and here and just had two um, mounts only holding it. Um, and for a big motor like this, that's not really quite good enough. It is only a half horsepower, but it's still a flame proof motor, so it's extremely heavy. Um, very good quality and British made, so yeah, I want to make sure that it's hung properly this time. But hey, when you're only paying $45 and you get a half horsepower flame proof motor with the stand, you don't complain. Um, so that will be painted the same colour. Um, these are the vents for it, they have uh, for the stand. They have to be cleaned up yet and painted the same black as well. So there's still a bit of work there to do. Um, but yeah, really at the end of the day, what a beautiful stand for such a good price. Um, and by the time I've finished it, as you can see, I'll come back to the other end of the workshop. It's really at the centre of the workshop and it really does look like a centre piece. It just looks fantastic and heavy duty. So, that's about all for now. I'll post another update once I've finished it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you'd like, please hit the like and if you wish to, please subscribe. Thank you.